Good morning. Uh, I think we're in the morning of episode 12. Um, and I'm on my way down to get dressed and stuff for the morning. And um, then we're going to hike up to the top of Standing Indian Mountain. My ear is all still clogged up from my eardrops. Because um, I'm still using eardrops for that ear infection that I got. And uh, so my ear is always still very dead silent in the morning because it's full of water. Um, anyway, it's supposed to be a really pretty view this morning. Um, once we get to the top, it's supposed to be worth the very difficult eat your Wheaties kind of breakfast uh, kind of climb that we have going on this morning. And then hopefully the rest of the day will be pretty chill. Um, so Maven was complaining because we were all going to bed at like 8.30. He's like, it's not even Hiker Midnight yet. Like, Hiker Midnight's at 9. Hiker Midnight is when the hikers get ready to go to bed. Um, so, anyway, it was pretty funny. Okay, well, I'll see you guys after breakfast. We're walking a ridge on Standing Indian Mountain, and there's views, as far as the eye can see, sort of blue, hazy views, but views that the camera does not seem to like, but they're there. Ooh, that was dizzying, huh? Anyway, it's a lovely morning walk. Oh, you made it up. It's beautiful, isn't it? So I guess he wants to go up there to see the top. I don't know if you have to climb these blue blazes to get to the top. He might. Yeah, I would think so. Because you would think this sign would be a marker of like this is where up ends. Let's see what goes on. Huh? Yeah, but there's more up. See? There's people up there. Okay, Got Hook says to follow this blue blaze up, so that's what we're gonna do to check out the summit. Good, huh? Yeah. You've got that it's good look on your face. Somebody's been camping right here. Over the view. I bet this is a great place to watch the damn sunset. Holy crap. I've been having kind of a wonky morning. My ear infection's been making me really dizzy, which has been making me kind of um, feel like I wanted to throw up. Um, so I'm kind of like hacking along my way up the trail. Uh, but here we are, and my stomach is a little bit wonky today. Um, but we made it to the top, and it was totally worth it. Look at that. And fortunately, I guess there's no place forward for uh, Maven to come pick me up if I were to keep marching forward. Um, so I won't be able to get off trail till Tuesday, which was the original plan. But um, like, part of me really wants to get off trail and go to the doctor and deal with this ear infection. But I know if I do, I'm going to skip miles in North Carolina. If I do it on Tuesday, it'll be a better day for that, where I'll come across a parking and uh, be able to take
take myself to the doctor on our off day before we all go out to the lazy hiker. So I think that's going to be the plan. I still have the medication that I'm taking for the ear, so I've got one more day of it. Um, but I'm thinking that there's pro I'm probably going to have to get something a little bit stronger. Whatever that guy gave me is not really super helpful, apparently, because it's making me pretty wonky. But so far, I haven't had to hike anything that's made me, like, terrified to walk a little bit dizzy. And I'm not, like, moving if I'm feeling super dizzy. At least I won't in a rough spot. So, that's where we are. So they're sitting there watching this beautiful view. The gnats are pretty bad over there. Um, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous day, gorgeous moment. Um, you can't, I don't know that the camera picks it up, but there's like a lake out there in the town. God knows if you can see more than one state, I'm not sure. But um, it's really pretty. is blowing. The sun is shining. So the whole crew made it up to that view. I'll put a picture in here. We got pictures of everybody. There was a couple uh, young men that took the pictures for us. It was very nice. Very nice way to spend a little time. Um, but because I'm slower than everybody else, I'm heading out ahead of everybody to get on the move for the next six miles that way if there's any trouble you know they'll walk up on me instead of having to wait for me i doubt there will be but anyway um they tend to they tend to catch me up at some point in the day so and i like to be done relatively early so that i can you know, chill out for a while it's better for my legs and all of that if i need to go for a water hike I'm more able to do that and stuff. Um, so, off I go. They're going to probably sit up there a little longer. And I just said goodbye to my husband and daughter who are going to go do some fun things in town. And my husband's going to work and stuff. And uh, then um, Tuesday is our day that we'll be getting off trail. We might be trying to get a ride with Tracker, hopefully. I might have to hitchhike out. Dan works on Tuesdays, so it's a little tougher for him to come and pick me up. Um, and so we'll see how that goes. But Tracker, if, if we can keep up with him, he has a um, he has a thing, a uh, rental car supposedly meeting him on the trail and so if, if they show up then he'll be good it's like the blaze is over here it's a little bit confusing but i do see a blue blaze over here to get back to the signs where i will then have to continue on from where i left off looks like right there all right so we'll talk later Little bitty things that remind me of baby's breath I'm walking through today. It's kind of cool. So this stuff is the worst stuff to walk on. Like, I have to stop to video to you um, because it's too easy to turn an ankle. There's little rolly rocks everywhere. But it's pretty. Does anybody know why Standing Indian Mountain has so many dead trees? They're on both sides of it. Different kinds of trees, too. It's not all the same kind of tree. Is like a big do not enter sign. You know, it's hard to go under with a pack. It's hard to go over with a pack. I think I'm going to go over. I thought I would take a moment to show you this part of the trail today. Kind of walking right through a whole bunch of brush that's as tall as I am. The terrain isn't bad as far as the ground, but you can't really see the ground. So you got to Hope that thorns and snakes and things aren't going to get you. That behind me is the trail. You can barely see it. I had to kind of create it as I made it through it. But that over there is mountains. And that's gorgeous. Somebody set this up so that there's, you can see the rock sitting on the leaf. 
so that the leaf would pour water in order to allow them to collect water more easily from this little spring. That's how it's done. Flowers everywhere. Feet and knees were starting to hurt, so I found this giant log to sit on for a little bit, take a break. Guess I'll have a candy bar or something. So two blazes seems to mean that there's like a shelter or gap or something right there. So this is a campsite uh, that I may could stop at. There's a spot here. The weather is looking like it's about to turn. This is pretty though. Somebody left some socks on the tree back there. Ah. But it does look like it might be about to rain, so maybe I need to prepare for that. For right now, I need to sit for a few minutes. I guess there's stuff this guy didn't want. There's shoes, socks, Coleman fuel. It's a great campsite though at Beach Gab. Holy crap. Pretty. Talk about what I really love about my new tramily. Um, so let's start with Poplar. She is got this like contagious smile, this amazing laugh, um, and she is a really good listener. So you feel heard when you're talking. Uh oh. And then we've got Tracker, who is very uh, learned in like everything, and he's so patient. Um, and we've all just kind of grown to this place where we have obviously started caring about each other's welfare or thinking about each other as we go up and down the trail. You know, checking in with each other. And uh, it's just really kind of cool how, heck, I think two weeks ago I didn't even know these people. And they're basically my trail family. And I've heard this about this place, about this trail, before. But, you know, you figure that happens to other people, not to you. But no, you just kind of fall in with the people who are hiking a similar hike to you. And, uh, sometimes your personalities get along just fine. It's pretty neat. I just heard a big crack, so I'm looking to see if there's any animals. But it's pretty thick in here, so I'm not sure if I would be able to see it if it was. They're not too far behind me either, so it could also be them. Anyway, and they've been so awesome to scout, my daughter. Um just so good with her and helpful. I don't know. I'm just really happy with my current family. I wish they could stay for the whole summer. <sighs> this must be Kilby Creek. Maybe. A little swimming hole in here if it were just a little bit warmer outside. It's a pretty good uh, water source. It's pretty. I guess I'm gonna have to climb over this log, get down on that rock, and then I guess, hopefully those rocks right there aren't too wobbly, and I'll be on my way. Now this is just a beautiful spot. Dang. I feel like a hobbit could run out at any time. A lot of these throughout the woods, everywhere we walk, I have to assume it's like a lightning strike because it's not all burnt out everywhere else. A lot of the trail today has been tripping over roots um, that you see here. Just roots after roots after roots. 
No wonder all these trees up here are dead. <clears throat> About three tenths of a mile from the shelter. But I had to stop and just look at this for a minute. Man, it's awesome. It's about two o'clock. Figure I'll be pulling in there a little close to 2.30 maybe. Um, started at a little after 7.30 this morning. Stopped at a mountain for a little while. Not horrible. It's been a day where we were able to rest a little bit. Pretty beautiful. Here's my trail right now. I'm going to go finish this walk and I'll show you the shelter. Alright, here's my double white blazes letting me know that there's a thing coming. There's my blue blazes showing me that, that I have to turn left. As the top one is over to the left. And here is the sign. Water that way. Shelter that way. Okay. So my understanding is is that the shelter was mismarked on this shelter, so I'm gonna have to look at it. So we've got two different shelter marks, the old one and the new one. So until I see a shelter, I'm not going to feel very comfortable with this. I guess it's this one, because this one says off to the right. Yep, up there I see it. Fabulous. That's a pretty little shelter. They tore down the old one across the way. I think maybe because of bears, but I may be making that up. I probably am. Anyway, it looks really nice. Looks really nice. Wonder where the privy is. I don't see a sign. Nor do I see my friends. Uh oh. I hope they didn't get lost. There's benches. There's a broken trekking pole. There's definitely mice here. Something shiny up here. Oh, fun shiny bag with an owl on it. Birdie, look. I'm pretty sure that they were using this to smoke something. I can't smell it, but it looks like they made a little pipe out of this bag. Isn't that funny? And there is our log, which I will fill out later. Right now I'm going to sit here and worry about the two people who were ahead of me but didn't make it here. Oh, and a sock. Bananagrams, and I don't know what the other thing is, but there's definitely bananagrams up there. We're totally playing bananagrams. And maybe, I don't know, traveling Scrabble? That's my guess. We're going to see. We're going to look and see what this is. Oh. Ooh, ah. We got for sure banana grams. Oh, I don't know what this is. What is it? It's like a little tiny mini, um, what's that game where you throw the bean bags in? That's what this is. It's just, look, it's like a little, little tiny cornhole game. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. This is awesome. <laughs> so we're just going to take the loop and come around. Mm -hmm. Look through, put a toggle in. And you just leave it sit there.
and then that all just pulls out real easy. Neat. All right, so we are at this shelter and finding the privy. There's a little trail. Look at this amazing view from right behind the shelter. And that leads us over to here. Privy is really easy to get to. It's not up or down today. Not a door to be seen that I can tell. But look at the view. To the, right outside of the privy is amazing. Of course, there's a bajillion bees. And uh, relatively simple. Now he's on the tree. <laughs> 